Hey, it's Carly from Hey Me by Carly, and I'm gonna show you how I made this top. It's a cowl neck, open back with some tied straps. Um, it's super adjustable, very little fabric used, and it just has two rectangles and the straps. So it's a pretty easy make, and here's how I did it. Whenever I self-draft patterns, I always sketch out ahead of time the pieces I think I'll need. And for this project, you will need rectangle, long straps, and you'll need two of each of those pieces plus small straps and two of those as well. Okay, so to get the dimensions of the rectangle, you're just going to need a measuring tape and you'll just hold it up to your body and you wanna go about shoulder to shoulder um, and then just kind of drape it and see how that cowl neck is going to look. Um, so I think this is a good amount for me. I always add a little bit extra because this is probably what I want it to look like, which is 15 inches, but I know there will be seam allowance and then I always um, feel like I eyeball too small and so I'd rather have more. So I'm gonna do 16 and a half inches, which on me is about shoulder to shoulder. Um, and I think that'll give enough for the seam allowance and I can always cut some off if needed. So 16 and a half, I'm gonna write that down. And then for the next measurement, we're gonna do this part of the rectangle and it will diagonal back a little bit. So I'm gonna go above the bust, back about, let's see, about there. I think that looks good. And that's 10 inches on me. Um, yeah, I think that'll be enough because it is going back a decent amount. So I'm not gonna add too much extra there because um, I'm not as worried about it being short as I am about it just like covering the front. So. 10 inches is what my measurements came out to 16 and a half by 10 on the rectangle and then I'm just guessing here I'm gonna do a 36 inch um, band that's like a little less than an inch I put three quarters um, I'm just gonna eyeball it though just have it be kind of a thin strap that's about 36 inches and then two little bands that will make loops so that'll be about an inch by again just eyeball about like three quarters of an inch or around there now to cut the fabric, fold your fabric in half so it's two layers, and then measure out the dimensions of your rectangle. Mine is 10 inches by 16 and a half inches, so I'm just measuring that it's 10 inches all the way down here, and using my other ruler to see where 16 and a half is. And just going to cut out two rectangles out of these two layers of fabric. Now move your two rectangles off to the side and then we're gonna do the straps. So I decided mine would be 36 inches. It could be a little bit longer as well. And then I'm just eyeballing about an inch or less wide. This will be two straps and then I move on to, I ended up doing about two inches by a little less than an inch for the loops. So you should have two rectangles, two loop straps, and then two long straps. Now lay out one of your rectangles with the right side up and put the other piece on top of it right sides together. Pin or clip all the way around. Then you're going to sew up one side, jump the corner leaving it open, across the top, leaving the corner open down the other side, Again, leaving the corner open. And then for the bottom, you're going to leave a couple inches open in the center. So right there, it should be open. And then each corner should be open and not sewn shut. It should look something like this with the orange marking where the opening should be. For this part, I'm using my serger, but you can use a regular sewing machine as well. And I'm starting with the bottom where the bigger opening should be so that I don't forget to leave it. And I'm just putting my two, two layers of fabric in my machine, sewing down towards the end of the corner. Remember to not go all the way to the end so that we leave a little opening in each corner. Then I'm just going to lift the fabric out and then sew off the end. 
So you can see I just sew up to about a centimeter away from the edge. Then I'm going to start on the next side, about a centimeter away, and sew down to the end again. Repeat this for each side, remembering that the bottom center has about a two inch opening. If you do forget that step, you can always seam rip it open later. Here's what the corner should look like with a small opening. So you can see there is about, let's see, about a two inch opening right here, and then a seam, and then each little corner is slightly open. Now moving on to the straps, you're going to take each one, fold it in half, right sides together, and then just sew along the length, closing it. And you'll do that for the loops as well, right sides together. I'm using my regular sewing machine for this step. You can see I didn't pin anything, I'm just putting it down and just making sure that it folds as it goes through the machine. And then do the same for each of the small loop pieces as well. Now we're going to turn those right side out. I have a loop turner, which are really great tools. If you don't have one, you can also just use a safety pin. But you're just going to take it and turn it right side out. Here's what it looks like right side out, just a small strap. Then you're going to turn the small loop pieces right side out as well. Now you should have two long straps and two small straps. Next you're going to take your rectangle piece and then the small strap. Fold it in half and pin the ends together. Now you should have a small loop like so. Then you're going to, with the safety pin first, go through the opening that you left at the bottom of the rectangle and go to the left or right bottom side. So this should be on the same side as the opening. When you get to the corner, you're just going to pull your safety pin through that small opening you left. Pull the fabric through just enough so you can see it, take out your safety pin, and then you're just going to sew all of those layers together. I'm using my regular sewing machine for this step, so you're just going to put the corner under and do a diagonal seam. I'm going back and forth a few times so that this loop doesn't get pulled out when I wear it. Repeat the same process for the other bottom corner of the rectangle with another loop. Next, you're going to take the longer strap and use your safety pin to pin one of the ends. And then you're going to go through that same opening but go to one of the top left or right corners. You're going to pull the safety pin through just enough to see the fabric and then you can remove the safety pin. And then you're going to, again, just sew a diagonal seam on that corner. Again, do a straight seam and just go back and forth a few times so it doesn't get tugged out. Then repeat the same process for the other top corner. Then trim any excess fabric from the straps to prevent any bulk Now take the two strings and pull the entire thing right side out. And you should have two small loops 
on one side and then the two long straps on the other side. Now with the small opening that you had, you're just going to do a top stitch to close it. I'm using my regular sewing machine and just doing a top stitch and getting as close to the edge as possible. This shouldn't be very visible since we did it on the bottom of the front of the top, so you won't really be able to see it. Always remember to press your seams, it makes the edges look so much more finished and clean. For the final step, you just need to take a strap, cross it over, and loop it through the small loop on the opposite side. And repeat the same for the other side, and then tie the two straps together. And here is the final product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you make this, remember to tag me at Handmade by Carly. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Like this video and comment if you have any questions. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a pretty easy make and I had fun with it. So hope you did too.